Wow. We do get very attached, unfortunately, to the work we do as opposed to the people that we are. And it sounds like that really, um, you know, came to fruition with all of the psychologists with their incredible degrees. And, 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 you know, I'm sure a lot of them really are wonderful and very knowledgeable, but, you know, that attachment to this is who I am, you know, anyone that says that you're not that person or that who you are is bad can be deeply, deeply troubling for, for the soul. I think what, what do you think about that idea that, um, self-development is in large part that idea of rediscovering, discovering the truth of who you are. I'm going to link that into um, something that's really come through in the last couple of years. And we're talking about psychologists in the room and everything. I th- I've just had some, I've just filmed some clients telling their stories and put them on my website. And the thing that comes through them is that they've all, and this isn't just them, this is nearly every client that sees me, is they've all been to a psychologist, um, but they don't feel that rapport with them because the psychologist hasn't gone through it. They're not living and breathing and it's not genuine and authentic. They're just, you know, going off what they studied and learnt and the diploma on the wall or degree on the wall says, I can learn stuff. Mm. Um, and, and Ram Das lecture, I was listening to yesterday, he says how we've put intellect up on a pedestal instead of wisdom and you, you, we a, a lot of i'm not having a crack at psychology but it's so young compared to buddhist and stoic philosophy um and there are there are great psychologists out there and there are shit psychologists out there so i'm, I'm not cracking or, or having a pot shot at anyone but this is just based purely off what my clients tell me um is that yeah, there's not that rapport there and, and these these people that are in a position of, of helping and healing aren't, aren't developed enough within themselves to fully understand what they're talking about. Like they haven't done the work on themselves. And so, you know, the suicide rate in psychologists is very high um, because a lot of them sure, haven't done that. the work. So I think there's a big shift now in in going to see lived experience practitioners you know those of us that have been to the school of life and then gone on and and studied and um got a foot in both camps rather than sitting there going right well whose fault is it this is what you should do freud said this you know i've read this in a book and i'm gonna now tell you we're gonna turn that knowledge into wisdom through application and that's where a lot of people fall down is, is they accumulate knowledge, they accumulate this intellect and they'll go and tell all these people about it. I say to my clients, you are not allowed to talk to anyone about this shit until you're practicing it yourself, until you're living it and breathing mm. it. You can't go and tell people what to do. You can't just look at a quote and then say to someone, oh, the source of all pain is attachment. Well, you <laughs> remain deeply attached to everything. Yeah, It's just, it's just not going to work. You've got to turn the knowledge into wisdom through application yeah i definitely don't disagree with anything that you just said there mate um absolutely true absolutely true and uh the truth will out and i think what's so good about the internet is that it's breaking down a lot of those very old outdated um socially egotistical walls i think which is which is really good 